Unboxing time. We have a new watch from Ocean to Orbit. And this thing has a little bit of uh, historical value to it. This thing has climbed some summits, or this prototype of this watch anyway. So let's open it up, check it out, get the sleeve off here if I can. I'll still take a tightly fitted sleeve over a plastic wrapped watch. Ocean to Orbit, designed in Australia, made in Switzerland. Let's check it out. Nice packaging. Got a little drawer down here. Microfiber cloth. Pamphlet. That's not going to fit back in there. Okay. Let's open up the watch box. There we go. Nice looking so far. Excellent padding. Nicely packed. It wasn't just loosely floating in there. We do have some plastic on this thing. Can I get it off the front of this? Yes, I can. There we go. So nice. Very nice looking watch. And the lug tug on this, I think, because the case size is not super large. Is it probably like a 39? Yeah, close to it. 38.7. And then the lug to lug is a 47. So, yeah, typically I would wear a little bit larger size watch or prefer one anyway. Nice bracelet, kind of a, a standard clasp there with a pin style micro adjust. But uh, nice thin, nice finishing, and a beautiful looking dial with a beautiful handset. Screw down crown. Let's go ahead and get this thing running. Nice pop to it. If you're a pop snob is that a thing i don't know like when you unscrew the crown and it pops out this one was aggressive it, like it pushed my fingers out of the way so pretty cool nice got this thing running let's screw that back down and i really like the dial on this thing it has a little bit of lines going on there so it's got some texturing to it like the handset applied markers larger cardinal positions let's pop it on wrist see, let's see what it looks like and, I, and i'll give you a loom shot i don't often do that on unboxings this is just an unboxing i still have to do the full video that's a good size i like that i am starting to gravitate more and more of course i'm always going to love my dive watches but i am definitely starting to gravitate more and more towards non-divers just to mix up the collection you know otherwise it just gets a little stagnant it gets a little you know, when you open up the watch box and you got 20 dive watches and, uh, you know, a pilot watch and a, you know, I don't know what you call this, like an adventure or sport watch. Um, it's just, it doesn't seem balanced. It's it's fine. I, I don't have a problem going diver heavy, but we got to have good options like this watch here. So, excellent loom. Trying to keep it short, guys. This is just the unboxing. Full video as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.